Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 6. Today we're going to be doing my trailer breakdown for Episode 5, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about the first thing. Obviously we're going to break down the trailer, we'll get to that in a minute, but we've got some major new news to do with a new DCTV show coming very soon. It's coming from Greg Berlanti, it's going to be a new Green Lantern show, so yes, Green Lantern is confirmed, it's going to be a TV show, it's going to be a DC TV show, probably not connected to the CW, due to the fact that it's on HBO Max, that's Warner Brothers' new streaming service, so it's kind of like DC Universe, so there's a possibility it may cross over, also the biggest possibility is, because Greg Berlanti is the showrunner of this new show, and he obviously crossed over Supergirl when it was on CBS because he was a showrunner. He was sort of overseeing Supergirl. And his main role isn't actually like the showrunner, but he's sort of like the creator of these shows, so more like overseeing, like I said. So yeah, showrunner's not the right term really for the Green Lantern show or any of the other shows, but like he does Doom Patrol right now, and he's got this new show coming, Green Lantern. It's going to be based on obviously the comic books, not sure what version they're going to actually be, you know, going with because there's so many Green Lanterns. But I'm guessing it's going to be either Hal Jordan or like Kyle Rayner or something like that. And the only thing he's really said is he's promised it's going to be our biggest DC show ever that we've made. So there is a lot going for this and I think it would be really interesting if they took David Ramsey from Arrow. We know most likely that's going to happen in the crossover, like at least there's going to be a cameo of him as the Green Lantern. What happens if this TV show, because it's Greg Berlanti, what happens if it's David Ramsey as the Green Lantern? Like, I think that'll be great. I think that's really far-fetched because I feel like this Green Lantern show is going to be more like Titans and Doom Patrol, where the tone is completely different from the CW, and I'm not sure if, if they're going for that sort of idea, if David Ramsey's sort of diggle would fit in, unless it's like a different version. But I think that would be a great idea that they should keep in mind, but I doubt they will do that, so we'll have to wait and see, obviously. But I'm very, very excited about this. Let me know in the comments down below how excited are you for all of that as well. So let's move on to talk about this trailer. So this is the new episode, which is coming next week, and so... This is all in black and white, the trailer. I thought it was really interesting how this played out because at first I was sort of like just adjusting, like has someone altered this trailer or something? Because you know, the flash is never in black and white. And so yeah, it's in black and white. I think it's gonna be most of the episode. This is sort of within Cisco's mind. It seems to be like this is inferring to be. And it's sort of going to be Cisco's episode where he's going to definitely face up to him not having powers anymore we know we've got breacher coming for this episode danny trejo so yeah let's break down this trailer so the first shot of the trailer is in fact of barry and iris they're going on some sort of vacation which is a bit weird considering you know everything that's going on and how they're preparing for crisis and so on and so forth so you can obviously tell by the black and white something is wrong and we get some answers further in the trailer, but we'll talk about that in a sec. So we got Iris here looking at Barry, shot reverse shot. We've got Cisco sort of being a bit confused. Barry's in his sort of Hawaiian gear that he has used many times before. And then we get this shot of Cisco, and it's sort of it's very close up and it's a shot of his face, and he seems to be completely out of it, you know, kind of zoned out, you know, in this sort of new world. And so, is this all in Cisco's mind? I think it potentially may be all in Cisco's mind. And so, this happens when he suppresses his powers. You know, this new world pops up within his mind, apparently. We'll talk about that in a sec. But we get this shot, he's in bed, he gets up, and it's all very much so, like, following him. So, a very much, like, horror vibe. You know, he's got scissors in this. He's up, standing up, and, you know, he's facing directly into the camera. Something feels off. It's definitely off. And then we move on to the next shot. 
So Barry and Iris, they're about to go on this vacation they talked about, and everything seems to be a bit too cool. As in, like, Cisco's like, yeah, sure, you guys go, something like that. I don't remember what he actually said. But then we got Camilla, so we've seen some photos of Cisco and Camilla. They are sleeping in the same bed, and they get up at one point, and I think this is the point where Breacher shows up. Obviously, in those photos, they were coloured because they haven't colour graded it by then because, you know, they actually film in colour and then they change it to black and white after. But yeah, so Camilla's there. We've got Cisco, and Cisco's sort of freaking out. He seems to have realised that something is wrong. You cut to this shot, it's wider. You see him in a mirror. I think he's about to smash something. So yeah, everything is wrong, and Cisco is sort of in his own mind, it seems like, sort of creating this world. Then you got this shot right here, this is in Star Labs, you know, on the chair, so something is wrong with him and he's checking up on either himself or like Caitlyn's checking up on him. But because it's still in black and white, I'm inferring that maybe this could be a creation and something may go wrong when, say, he asks for Caitlyn's help or something like that. So you definitely get a horror vibe from this trailer. And we got this close-up shot. I'm not sure whose size it is. I mean, it could be Cisco. More likely than not, it's probably Cisco. And so he's seeing something. I'm not sure what it is. But it could be this thing in the next shot. Something like flies up. I really don't know what it is. But then we move on. We get Breacher returning. So Danny Trejo is back. He hasn't been in an episode in quite a while. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm not the biggest fan of like his character. Because... He was brought in in like the worst season, which was season four, and yeah, so kind of looking forward to him returning, just because it might be quite cool, but not a big fan of his character, so I'm not super fussed about him returning, basically is what I'm trying to get at. And we move on, so we got Cisco, he's in Star Labs, he is trying to do something, and he's actually punched by Breacher, and why would Breacher punch him? to snap him out of it that is what's going to be happening as far as I know and as far as I can sort of see so yeah he's getting punched in the face Star Labs still black and white that is something to note down and we have Breacher this is sort of like Cisco's perspective he's punching him and then Cisco whams back and then you've got this final logo that is obviously black and white but also color and this is the moment where you're like okay so they've definitely done this on purpose this isn't like someone uploading the trailer online and they've made an error where it's black and white because you can see the lightning it's yellow and orange and red and everything else is black and white so it's a specific choice they've made for this episode i believe to get into cisco's mind that's sort of the idea that i'm getting from it and so before we head off at the end of this video let's talk about one more DC project that Greg Berlanti is going to be working on and this is Strange Adventures it's called. It's a DC superhero anthology series which Berlanti described as it's a cautionary tale set in a world where superpowers exist. This show will bring together Berlanti, Sarah Schechter who works on Supergirl, Aaron the Flash and showrunner slash writer John Stevens from Gotham and Gossip Girl as executive producers. So this is going to be on HBO Max as well, so it's going to be quite different, but from what I've been told and what I hear, it's, it's going to be more like maybe a DC version of like Riverdale or something like that. It's going to be an anthology series. I think Strange Adventures sort of links to Adam Strange maybe. Maybe he's going to pop up and maybe be the main character, I don't know. But as far as I know, like I'm pretty sure it's going to be more like in the tone of Riverdale where there's like a group of characters, maybe they're younger, but it's going to be set in the real world, but superpowers do exist, so that's interesting to note down. So that is it for this video guys, thank you guys so much for watching, if you did enjoy it please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe if you're new, turn on notifications, and I will catch you guys later, goodbye.